I'm going to temp fate here a little bit. I'm going to put one of these vibe jigs down or vibe lures and crank it back up. Much lighter line. I've got 50 pound leader still and 30 pound braid. So we'll just see what kind of uh, predator jumps on this when it gets close to the bottom. These lures tend to get smashed pretty quick. So I expect to lose a few. Let's just say I'm not pulling the new ones out of the packets yet until I clean out the old ones. That's a good fish. Come on, off the bottom. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was an awesome strike. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, these reef is unreal. Oh, that's a good fish. I'm amazed I did not get reef then. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish. I think we've got a bit bigger trout here. Yeah, he's come up to the surface. Oh, yes. That's a nicer model. As you can see, he's taken that vibe, sinking down through the water column, and absolutely beautiful trout. I'm just gonna handle this guy delicately because he's just hooked there. Look at that for a beautiful trout. <laughs> a bit browner in color this one, but a bit larger, beautiful blue spots. And the power of those vibes, I thought this guy was going to drive me into the reef then. And he just picked that up with enough space between him and the bottom for me to get away with it. Oh, putting the vibe back out again. Been losing a few baits or getting smaller fish, Moses, Perch and Hussa. They love picking these vibes up on the way down. Just got to watch that line run off. Yep, there's a fish. He's got it on the bottom. Oh, he's a good one. Man, they just pick it up and run with it along the reef. Pretty lucky not to get caught in the reef, to be honest. What have we got here? There's another good trout. Now, the trout seem to love these. Yep, they do. He's a good one too. Oh, yes. The trout never gets sick of taking these lures. Just a change of colour. and put the pink colour one on and he's just taken that beautifully on the drop just on the top of the reef and he ran along the reef a little bit obviously looking for a hole or a or an escape route of some sort but i just had enough pressure on him to keep him off the bottom and uh, we got him in the boat i'm just going to cast a little jackson lure and let it get close to bottom and slowly roll it back along the reef i'm going to cast it about 20 meters that way and let it sink down, I'm in 20 meters of depth and I just want to slowly swim it above the reef and see if I can attract a fish. Yep, oh yes, yes, he's got it, come on. I just got done on the slow retrieve. Oh, might be a nice trout, he's come up for it I reckon. Oh, that's a beauty, nice. Look at the color in this trout. Absolutely beautiful color. Oh, he's just got onto that lure just on the slow retrieve back and he's just come off the bottom and smacked it hard which gave me plenty of room because he wasn't in the reef we've had a slight move down with the vibe changed to a lure from a bait and let's see what sort of result we get yep straight on Come on, Fat Betty does the job again. What do we got, come on. Be a trouty, be a trouty, come on. Yes, that's what we want. Oh, it's a nice coronation trout too. Different trout and still a beautiful trout. Ah, oh, wow, look at the colors on that. Absolutely beautiful, purple, red, orange. Man, what a beautiful looking fish. One of the nicest fish in the ocean and first drop in a new spot away from the sharks and finally a good result with a beautiful trout you gotta love that let's do that again the good old humble soft plastic Whoa. <laughs> oh that was a good mid-water strike oh. man that was a really good attack on the plastic I can see the fish now. 
I don't know what that was that came off the bottom, but he was a fair way up. Uh oh, he's got a shark on him. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on. It's a trout. And I want it. I don't want to give it to the shark. Oh, that's a good trout too. Absolute beast. That's the kind of trout you want to get on a plastic. Now he came probably five, six meters off the bottom to get that as I was retrieving it. And that gave me enough time to get him home in the boat. What a cracker. Woo.